Hi everybody, this is Rosa Sharon and I'm back again with another book review. I just recently read Sprezzatura, 50 Ways Italian Genius Shaped the World. This is by Peter De, P De Pirio and Mary Oswald Pintowish. And they actually authored One of the Seven Wonders of the World, which I think would be another fascinating book to read. But a lot of what was in this book I already knew just because I've had really excellent history classes. I had European history when I was in um, <clears throat> college. So most of it was um, repetition or just a reminder of what I already had learned. Um, there were some things I did not know though. So I found that very interesting. In fact, I, I learned that Leonardo da Vinci was not only a southpaw, but he was ambidextrous. So I thought, hmm, that's really quite impressive. <laughs> and not only that, but this was a man who was not um, formally taught. He, he didn't have what you would call higher academic learning. He was very rudimentary in his education, I thought. But he was a genius. I mean, it's just incredible how how some people start in obscurity and then you know they become famous and he only had a few works that were actually attributed to him and all the rest were lost to, to just god only knows what but you know he's he endures as all those other painters have and uh italian um inventors innovators you can say they shaped the modern world so <laughs> And another thing that recently came to my mind was, uh, and this has to do with Roman ancestry, but if you have blue eyes, you most likely have a Roman ancestor. And that's what I'm trying to figure out, honestly, because I have blue eyes. My dad had blue eyes. Um, a few people on the burnt side have blue eyes. So there's got to be a, an Italian Roman ancestor in there somewhere because there was one Roman out of all Romans who had a recessive gene and he passed it on to his ancestors and that would be going way back so I don't know who we're related to on on my dad's side but that was my dad's side um I honestly don't have a lot to say about the book it was just absolutely wonderfully written and I got through it very quickly because like I said most of it was review but um I am looking forward to doing some things in the studio. So, got some interviews set up and I will keep you posted on that as soon as I get more information. So, until next time, let's catch you on the flip side. Live long, prosper. Ciao, tutti.